Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome home. Welcome home. Thank you. Let them become a reminder of our meeting and of our city. Thank you very much. Dear guests, let me congratulate you on behalf of the Chief of the Federal Aviation on the end of your mission. Thank you. Dear friends, two ambassadors are taking part in our event today. So I would like to pass the floor to them, to the ambassador of the United States. I want to, uh, on behalf of the American Embassy and the people of the United States, I want to welcome you back to our common home, uh, the Earth. От імені от посольства США, от імені мене, народу Соединених Штатів Америки, я поздравляю вас і з возвращенням. I'd like to congratulate you on your return to home on behalf of the American people and the American Embassy. Thank you very much. You are heroes. We're proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations on your return to Earth. Thank you very much for what you've done. We all followed with attention we all followed your mission and your work in space. In the end, I would like to express my gratitude to the Kazakh people for the welcoming ceremony and for their hospitality.
Anton. Space Honey. Big thank you for your reel that you made. I will not. Yeah. I'm heading up right over to lunch, but so um, good to see you. Man, you got a busy life there. It's good though. It is. When we get to see you. Scott Tingle, welcome back to Earth. Very pleasure. pleasure to watch your mission and then to see you actually come home safely. Such a great and spectacular landing. Thank you, Gary. It's, uh, it's great to be here. I never realized how, uh, how hard it would be to come back until I'm here. <laughs> and just standing up, just sitting up straight here is, uh, is proven to be a challenge, but it's, uh, it's a fantastic uh, expedition and fantastic to be back. I can say sitting on this end, you're looking really good right now. So I just have a couple quick questions. First, I'll start by saying, after saying goodbye to crewmates and closing the hatch among getting into the operations of your return, what were some of your first thoughts reflecting on your days in orbit before coming home? Well, it's a little bit surreal, uh, a little emotional. Okay. Very emotional. It, there's, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into doing what we do. It's not easy. And, uh, and putting it in the rearview mirror, so to speak, at least for this, this phase, um, is a challenge. So your first landing experience on a Soyuz, but a lot of training and preparation to get you to touchdown. What about landing, despite all the training you went through, were you most surprised by? Hmm. Uh, during the landing uh, process, the, uh, the landing, uh, the opening of the parachute um, was just absolutely a double E-ticket ride. We simulate a lot, we see all the things that happened a lot, we talk about it a lot, we knew it was coming, but experiencing it was just incredible. I'm sure this has all been a blur for you, but tell me your first thoughts and appreciations upon walking on Earth and breathing fresh air once again. Uh, you know, we had our, our visors down on our spacesuit when we were sitting in the, uh, in the capsule. And I had heard stories of, wow, as soon as the hatch is open, you can smell the fresh air, you can smell the, the vegetation and the organic material that you don't get up on station. And uh, so I kind of cheated a little bit, and I raised my visor a little as I saw the hatch opening, and, and it came in with full force. And it was just, a, at that moment, you know you're home. Well, some well-deserved rest coming up shortly here for you. On your way back to Houston, what are you looking forward to most after you return? Seeing my family for sure, and then a nice hot shower. Scott Tingle, welcome back. Thank you, Gary. Ребят, вот это